This is the cap driver for the seven needle journey or the 12 needle Voyager for most versions of the Voyager, except the, for the very first one. So it's compatible with Voyager one, two, and three, except for um, the oldest models of the, um, the non-color screen two line text only control panel. A common problem that people have when first starting to learn how to handle the cap driver is that uh, the cap driver consists of a horizontal bar and a drum, and the two are linked together by a cable and it's under some tension. And because uh, it's a metal cable that can stretch, when you grab it, it's possible to grab it. And you can see that if you grab it by the bar, that the weight of the drum can cause it to fall away and with the stretch of the cable. And you can see how now the horizontal bar is now not sitting in the groove where it's supposed to sit, the same groove that the cable rides in. So as you can see that if you look at it from the top, it's not sitting there, it's uh, looking a little bit twisted. So the proper way to put it back in position is just grab and hold the drum in place uh, with one hand and then twist it, the bar with the other hand until it falls in. And then make sure that the, this black plastic bar falls into this groove like this. It falls in all the way. See how it recesses in here and it doesn't stick out partially, but actually falls all the way in like this. It doesn't hurt the cap driver if it pops out. You can see I popped it out just again, um, as long as you put it back in. But try to prevent this by holding the cap driver uh, with the bar and the drum together until you actually have to put it on the machine. And then when you do, I find it very useful to hold it by the front guide plates like this. And then the horizontal bar this way, so that gives you room to slide this over the arm and then also move the arm left or right to mate up with the mounting block on the X carriage.